I'm Garrett Cortez, contributing editor for Boating Magazine and wakeboardingmag.com, and today I'm excited to show you a brand new boat from Heyday. This is the H20. Last year they introduced the H22 to big acclaim, now they've introduced a little sister, a 20 footer, and it's an incredible boat that's a small package but delivers big results. I'm excited to show you all of the features from front to back, and then later pro team writer Dylan Miller is going to show you how he sets it up for some wakeboarding and wake surfing fun. Oftentimes with smaller boats, people think you're not gonna have a ton of space in the bow, but as you can see with the H20, there's ample room for multiple people to lounge comfortably. I like the fact that both sides have armrests and there's a center cushion that's removable, so you can either make it a playpen style or take it out if you want the walkthrough to carry through. You've got cup holders on both sides, speakers, communicating storage on both sides, and one gives you convenient access to your electrical panel. Much like in the bow, the cockpit area of the H20 has ample space for plenty of people to sit comfortably. It's rated for 14, which means you can bring a bunch of your friends out for a fun day on the water and keep them comfortable thanks to the upholstery. I really like the fact that it's got that signature H-series stitching that goes through from the bow all the way to the transom. I also like the fact that there's storage underneath each side. One other unique feature in the cockpit of the H20 is the storage underneath this OB seat. With the push of a button, the whole thing lifts up and it reveals a huge storage compartment. One other great feature is the convertible seat. You can slide it into the cockpit area and your passengers can face backwards and watch all the action on the water. The H20 is also equipped with Heyday Signature Tower. It goes great with the lines of the boat and it comes with pivoting board racks which makes getting your boards in and out a lot easier. Plus two speakers up above to keep the tunes going for everybody out on the water and a bimini to keep you shaded on those sunny days. At the helm of the H20, I really like the fact that it's just a nice, clean, simple layout. You've got your stereo controls here on the left side, you've got soft touch buttons for things like courtesy lights, blower, and bilge, and then you've got the integrated touch screen. It gives you all of the same great features that you get on the WT series, but like the H22, the H20 has custom Heyday software. So you can go into your menus, pick what you want, and customize things the way you need them. I also like the fact that down below you've got a wireless charging station. As for driving the H20, it's really comfortable, well equipped with power. You won't have any problems getting riders up out of the water. What's up guys, this is Dylan Miller. I'm currently sitting in the driver's seat of the Heyday Wake Boats H20, and I'm just gonna show you guys how I like to set up this boat for wakeboarding. So there's a nice convenient button on the dash here to fill all the ballast. I like the, all the ballast completely full, so that's the easiest way for me to set it up. Press that button, it'll automatically fill up all the tanks, and when they're full, it'll cut them off. There's also really convenient buttons for surfing as well. If you want to hit surf on the left, there's a surf left button. If you want to surf on the right, there's a surf right button. So one touch of a button and you're set up and ready to go. And just like its bigger brother, the H22, the H20 has a center tab in the back. It's a great way to customize both the wakeboard wake and the shape of the wake surf wave. Over the last week, myself and the entire pro team got to spend a good amount of time behind this boat and everyone was so impressed with the surf wave and the wake. Even though it's only 20 feet, it's got a 320 horse engine, so it's got all the power you need and all the ballast you need to make the wake pristine. One of the signatures of the H-Series is the rear-facing cockpit seats. The H-20 has them, much like the H-22, but they're also different. The H-22s have that lay-flat feature, the H-20 does not, but underneath you have storage, which is a nice convenience. Of course, these are super comfortable to sit in, but they're also legal, so you can ride in them at speed or while you're watching your buddy's wake surf. It gets you right up there in the action, and it's a really cool experience. You've also got two cup holders and speakers back here, bringing the H20's total up to eight. You've also got a rear stereo control center, so you can control your tunes while you're at the sandbar. One great feature of the H20 is the new power platform. With the push of a button, the platform raises up to vertical, making the boat that much shorter and that much easier to store. So if you need to keep your H20 in a garage, this makes it that much easier. Another new feature for the H20 is the surf exhaust system. It pumps the exhaust down and out into the surf wave and makes the ride that much quieter. Over the past few years, we've seen a lot of the wake boat companies really focus on going bigger and bigger and bigger with their offerings. Sometimes you feel like the smaller boats get left behind. It's awesome to see a brand like Heyday bringing the H20 to market. I think more and more people are gonna be interested in a boat like this, especially as they're getting into water sports. If you need to store your boat in a garage, this is a perfect option. And as you can see from what Dylan talked about, it can pack a punch. For Boating Magazine, I'm Garrett Cortez, and this is the Heyday H20.